Previously on Drake Paragon. This wheel was here. What happened was the bolt somehow failed. Do you think you have new bolts? Yeah. When it fits off. We heard this enormous bang. The little piece just went free. I hope it is not headed for us. In the two days that it took to fix our steering, we lost our great weather window to sail to Ireland. All we could do now was wait for another window. Yeah. Oh, doggy slobber. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> he loves it. Some alpha dog always gets the toy. We hear that he's getting a little bit older and may lose the alpha dog spot soon. They are beautiful dogs at the weather station. They live outside. In the winter time, they have so much snow here, negative 20 degrees Celsius temperatures, and sometimes sustained winds as high as 100 knots that stay sustained for a whole week. I can't imagine living here in those conditions. Alpha dog got it again. But he's got a rock. How do I get the rock and the stuff? Four point Bremen, I shot right here, channel 16. What's that? So that's us here at radio calling a boat on channel 16. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, when will you reach the weather station at Christus Christ Christ Board? 16 locals, thank you, Bob and Bob Bremen. So, Radio can hear the boat, which is two hours away from the weather station, but we can't hear the boat. Bob and Bob Bremen, and I shut radio. I wonder if, because it was a woman calling, whether it was an, another boat? I don't I know, there's not many boats up here, but whether it was somebody coming... Maybe they're in convoy. Maybe they're in convoy, or maybe they're coming from <laughs> east to here, so they're letting us hear radio that they're coming. Actually, no, but if they're not getting signal with the mountains, then they must be in, in, in the, the sound. Yeah. So unless, maybe it's the German boat and there's a woman on board. Maybe it's a different German boat. Well, I hope it's not two boats. Why? Because we won't all fit. <laughs> sure we will. The weather station really has room for about two boats. Yeah. I could be on the opposite shore, just pull us forward. Have them there, but not by the rock. No matter how you look at it, it would be a lot better if we were turned around. And I'm looking at the wind out there, and it's pretty nerve-wracking, I think. I'm going to go look at it again. So, it's really hard to move out of this little tiny harbor, especially when we've got these icebergs. The area that we have to move is very, very, very small. That rock is three feet above the water at low tide. Then we have that iceberg, which really stands out underneath the water as well. He's grounded at the moment. He's also breaking apart. And as smaller pieces break off of him, they've been hitting the boat. I had to get up three times last night to fend off pieces of ice that were two to three feet in diameter that were hitting the boat. And we've got that rock over there. Just a little bit of space right here, not much. The wind forecast for tonight offshore is for 50 knots right off of Prince Christian Sun. Really, really windy. Having the boat in this orientation is not preferable at all. 
fin keel boats are much more maneuverable in reverse. You can steer them like a truck in reverse, but Paragon is not like that at all. With her huge full keel, she just cannot be maneuvered in reverse. We're gonna have to use lines and boat poles to spin her around. We're gonna back up about this much and then use a boat pole from the boat onto the end here to push the stern out there without letting the rudder hit those rocks over there. Aina's gonna be on the dock with both bow lines and we're gonna bring the bow sprit to here as the stern pivots around like that so that we can get tied up. Then if something goes wrong and we need to make an escape getaway, at least we're facing forward and we can just motor and forward and have control over our steering and go right out. I'm Is it too windy? Is it okay? I think conditions are going to be better later. I think this is like as good as we're looking at. That other boat is coming, so we need to do the turn before they get here, and Let's they should it. be here shortly. Let's do it. You feeling confident? Yeah. Don't be filming me on board, because it's really, really important. Right now. I've made a premature coffee, but that's how you gotta do it. Yeah. You ready to do the turn? Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's ready? let's do it. Let's turn the boat. Good. Let's go. I'm gonna just fix up these lines again because I pulled them into a big pile when the helicopter came. Fend off the bow! Oh, 
to go forward a little bit but something's preventing me do we have a spring on no there's nothing stopping you i think that might be just the big tires just being blown onto the dock forward mo put it in forward gear forward all right neutral neutral Bring us forward a little bit more, Mo. Bring him forward. More? No, neutral. Neutral. You need a spring. I'll get it. Bent the anchor a little. What? The anchor got bent a little. Which one? The oh, fortress. Yeah, the fortress. That's when I was like, reverse, 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 because the bowsprit was going in and it got caught on the tire. The bowsprit is totally not damaged, right? It hit a little bit. The, the, the forward most end bumped. Good. It looks okay. Good. Yeah. Are you me luck? Huh? What? <laughs> what? Are you me luck? Are you me luck? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? What is it? Are you, are you me luck? What does it mean? It's okay. Thank you! <laughs> what is this? What is this? What's that rock? It's okay. And an attentive dog. What is this? Oh no! You ready? You ready? Okay. The thing with the weather station is once you get here, you can never leave. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hotel Weather Station. That so wasn't as knacky as the last time. Uh, post assessment, how'd that all go? What do you think? Everybody uh, saw everything from a different angle. Yeah. I think it would have been better if initially we had more actively pushed the stern out. The first, like yeah. we did the other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the wind was going to catch it and, and it, it right didn't. over. The stern got cotton irons, basically. and. Uh, yeah. And then we have started going to starboard the wrong direction. So then it's like, okay, let's go back where we came from. And then, but we didn't realize you were going to do that. So we're like, we're pushing, and then the engine starts moving us forward. And the bow spread you didn't was hear like, me. I said we're going back where we came from. Well, I figured that out as soon as we started moving forward. <laughs> but you didn't hear me. I didn't hear you. Okay. Nobody heard me say that. I heard you were like, uh, you were saying we're going back, and I thought you meant. Back, um, like backwards. Oh, wait, I, I, didn't really, I wasn't sure. I guess then. I should have said abort, you know? This isn't working. Or we're going I'm, forward as opposed to back. And when I felt the boat coming forward again, when I heard the engine change, and then I saw, okay, well, he thinks that the, the wind isn't going to bring him around, so he's going to come back in again. So then I just, you gave me the other line, and then just used that as a spring, and then we went off again. When the boat came to here, what was it like on the other side? What, Did you have more space? Closer? Oh, you mean close to the, yeah, the yeah, rocks yeah. there? We were never too close, so I was yeah. making sure of that. Okay. I think the only thing like that the, I was getting that like, felt like a good bit of pressure yeah. was when the bow was right in there and it was getting to the corner and you were reversing and then throttle forward mm -hmm. and then the bow came like it came into the dock and I thought that you must have been really close so we were just trying to push off but I think that was... I couldn't do I it. Thought, I thought if anything was going to break or go wrong, that's when it was going to happen. But I thought that you were trying to keep the wind vane away from the thing. I was trying to turn the boat. Yeah. The only way to do that is like putting the helm part over and then giving it throttle and yeah. forward. Uh, we were too close turns. forward though for that to to happen. And then the, the corner of the fortress caught on the tire as we were turning. I'm like, reverse, reverse, reverse. I know there's a, a kettle that has a name on it. Go Team Paragon! I haven't eaten today yet, so I think I'd like to do that. Oh, you bled for Paragon. How lovely. Bled for Paragon. Constantly bleeding. Honestly. For Team Paragon. Like I was going to put a bandage on that this morning, and then I was like, oh, we moved the boat, and then I get this. He's constantly bleeding for Team Paragon. I'm wondering, could I have done anything better? Honestly? Um, breathe. Don't breathe, forget to breathe. Breathe. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Just keep breathing. <laughs> he was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he see like an enormous amount of stress on my face? Is I, I that think what it was, was yeah, going on? Yeah, because you were, you were kind of like, ah! Because <laughs> you yeah, we were, you were under pressure. Like, you must have heard all the shouting, because I, I only realized when he came over. I thought we were like screaming at one another. <laughs> we were like, we're like, back off! <laughs> and he must have come over like, what the hell are they doing? Oh, no, I hate that. But I, it's fun, you know? I don't, like, I don't want to be a, a screamer. But, uh, you know, it's experience, I suppose, like. This is kind of, this, I mean, it's a tricky situation. I just wanted you to hear me. Yeah. Like, I see these people on boats come into anchorages, and, you know, one's on the bow and the other's on the engine, and they're just, like, yelling at each other, just trying to get the anchor down. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. Vessel calling Prince Christian Sun Weather Station. This is sailing vessel Paragon. Over. Prince Christian Weather Station. I didn't read you. Over. I think you can reach the Prince Christian Sun Weather Station on channel 0909. Over. Thank you. I understood 09. Uh, what? Out? She said it. She actually said it. Over and out. Over and out. Oh! Oh! Weather station. Prince Christian Sun Weather Station. This is Wappen von Bremen. Wappen von Bremen. I can't Over. say that name. Wappen von Bremen. They're like, Paragon, why did you tell them? Why? <laughs> this is this. Paragon. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. You need to go. So start talking now, guys. Prince Christian Sund Weather Station. Prince Christian Sund Weather Station. Probably not. Station. This is Wappen von Bremen. Wappen von Bremen. Over. That's a hard name. They can't hear him. Oh. Yes, hello, Prince Christian Sund. Uh, we are the sailing yacht Wappen von Bremen, and we are about six miles west from your station and we wonder whether we could uh, lie on your jetty overnight and have a visit with you. Over. You will be uh, welcome. Thank you. We will call you when we arrive. Over and out. Why don't you like the over and out thing? Oh. Ah! Over means, okay, I finished talking, I'm listening for you. And then to go out means I've finished this conversation and I'm not going to listen anymore. So when you say over and out, it goes, oh, I finished talking and I'm ready to listen, but I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> kind of. And like, over and out so can is we, not um, can You're not allowed to talk until you've learned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>